we've talked again in the past about how to filter out patterns, but what I'm going to talk about here today, as you notice, is this area right below the chart that says Price Movement Analysis for the Euro US Dollar. I'm going to click on that and a pop-up window will appear smack dab in the middle of your screen. And there are three headings here. Let's discuss each one of these headings. Now, interesting little backstory. You know, AutoTardis has all this data that it has fed into its, I don't even know what you call it. To me, it's the magical machine behind the automated chart patterns. But the geniuses there have all this data coming in about all the different pairs and time frames. And from that, they're looking for touch points and automatically drawing trend lines. And this is all done, you know, just kind of behind the scenes. Well, I still remember, I can't remember if it was Eric or Ilan that had said, you know, we, we, we realized we had all this data and we realized there were different things we could do with it, different ways to analyze it. And from that curiosity, the power stats was born. What the, what the guys did, in a nutshell, was take the data that was coming in and they were able to look at some, some basic rhythms of the market. Now, they started off with this broader view as what is the price movement by day of week on average. So looking back over the course of a sample period, and I don't remember if this is a six-month sample period for the movement per day or the movement per hour. I believe it is, but I'm not 100% sure. But basically what you see here is a, a recent, what you're seeing is a look at the recent price movement by day of week. So you can see that certain days of week are fairly quiet as compared to others. Okay? Some days have more volatility, some days don't. You break that down again, and this is and, and, and you can go into the movement per hour. In other words, is there a rhythm to the trading day? Is there is there a rhythm whereby I can see the volatility coming in and out of the market? And there absolutely is. Okay? We've talked about that aspect of the power stats in the past. And the movement per hour, by the way, is great for those traders that are trying to get to know a pair that they may not have traded before. Okay, let's say you are wandering into a pair that you've never traded before, uh, like, uh, for example, you know, the Euro Swissy. Okay, maybe it's a cross rate that you're just trying to familiarize yourself with, and you want to see when the volatility comes in and comes out of the market. You can go to the movement per hour of day, and what we will see is the bars, and for whatever reason, mine right now is, is glitching, and it might be my system, so I apologize. But what you'll see is 24 green bars that show you the average volatility of the pair when it's increasing, when it's decreasing. And what you'll find, and we've discussed this in past, in past presentations, is for the most part, pairs that trade against the U.S. dollar, Euro U.S. dollar, dollar yen, the cable, dollar Canada, Aussie U.S. dollar, the US, New Zealand dollar, U.S. dollar, anything that has a U.S. dollar, involved in the pair will typically have a push for volatility and a, and a wider trading range between the hours of 8 and 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, New York time. Okay? So in terms of when we'll see the, the, the higher volatility, it's usually when London, Paris, Frankfurt, and New York are overlapped. The Asian session, therefore, while still a viable session, is much less volatile. What is this going to mean to you, understanding this rhythm? Well, obviously, you can adjust your expectations for price movement accordingly. Very important, being able to adjust your expectations for price movement accordingly. Okay? You want to make sure you understand the rhythm of the market in such a way that you can manage your risk and also understand what support and resistance levels may actually be realistic to be reached during those hours. Okay? All right. So, again, those questions that are outside of our topic today, if, if Yvette can, 
can get to your question. Um, she will, and she'll answer you in the, in the text window. And if she cannot, please do me the favor of directing that question over to tech support at autochartist.com. All right, so what I wanted to show you is, and what I wanted to focus on today, because this is applicable right now in the live market, is the price range forecast. Okay? And what's great about the price range forecast is you can look at this graph here and get a projection of what the price range may be over the next 15, 30, 60 minutes, 240 minutes, or 1,440 minutes. It's a daily chart. So you can see that it's outlined here on all the time frames that AutoChartist scans for chart patterns on. You can also get expected price range movement. And this updates every 15 minutes. Okay? So when I saw this data, first of all, it confirmed something that I had taught and knew anecdotally for years but really didn't have the supporting evidence for, which is when you look at shorter term time frames, the patterns are smaller, your expectations for follow through is less than say the larger time frame. You know, my, my patterns on a 15 minute time frame are going to be smaller than that on say a one hour time frame. The expectation for price movement is less than the larger time frame. And my expectation for risk and reward will also be larger, be more on the larger time frame because if given more time, price simply will usually have a wider range that it could cover. Okay? And what this does is identify and, and give you some specifics regarding that range. Okay? And by the way, the answers to your, your texted in questions will appear next. There's, there's a number of columns. For those of you here live right now, there's a number of columns in your text window. And the question will appear answered along your question in the answer column. Okay? So once there's been an answer, you'll see that the answer is auto chartist communications, and then there'll be an answer next to it, okay? So I uh, just wanted to mention that. So the price range forecast, again, what we're trying to focus on here is where could prices go? This isn't a guarantee a price will hit the top and bottom of the range. This is simply where, like an envelope of where prices will likely operate within over the course of the next 15, 30 minutes, and so on. Now, why is this so helpful? Well, if you've got a small pattern, say a triangle, that's occurring on the Euro Swissy right now, or whatever pattern. Let's go back over that Euro US dollar. But what I was mentioning before is if you're venturing into a brand new pair for the first time or you haven't traded a certain pair for a while, I really recommend you utilize the power stats to kind of get to know the pair again. Look at the volatility, look at the price movement, look at the rhythm of the trading day. Okay? So these ranges I don't know the exact calculation, okay, but these ranges are derived from price movement and a historical look at price movement over the course of a sample, which I think is six months on this, okay. I don't know the exact calculation behind it. I just know it works. And again, um, those kind of more technical questions, please feel free to direct them to tech support and they'll, they'll tell you as much as they can, okay. All right, so... The expected price range for the next 15 minutes on the Euro US dollar is 43.79 to 43.45. Now, again, this will update every 15 minutes of what this gives me an idea of really is potential support and resistance, right? Let's break this down to the most usable and most realistic uh, you know, kind of uh, application, which is this is essentially support and resistance, okay? Now, when you utilize the, the overlay on MT4, which we'll talk about here in just a moment, what you'll see is that it does, in fact, look simply like support and resistance right on your chart because what you're then looking at is the projected ranges moving out in time. Okay, so if you have a, a price pattern that you're expecting for a breakout or breakdown and you look at the 
expected price range for each one of the time frames, it'll give you an idea of how long that breakout or breakdown may take, or if you're looking for a particular price level to be reached, how long it may take. If you have a number of support resistance levels drawn on your charts, including, say, the automated chart patterns, and you're wondering, wow, this is a rather large pattern. When could I expect the pattern to break? Is it realistic for the pattern to break in the next 15 or 30 minutes? Again, you can utilize the expected price range and get a better idea of how realistic it is to utilize in terms of the pattern and how realistic it may be that you can capitalize on that trade on that entry. Okay? So again, this is just another layer, another way, and it's a very unique way because I don't know that there's anybody else that's deriving support and resistance based upon past volatility and price range movement. Okay, most support and resistance plotted on a chart is based upon either touch points being connected like trend lines or horizontal support and resistance and chart patterns, or they're being calculated off some sort of high-low close like a pivot, or they're being calculated off some sort of last rally or sell-off like a, like a Fibonacci. Okay, so this is a very unique way of deriving another layer of support and resistance. Okay, so what I want to do is take us over to the the MT4 platform and show you what these overlays look like right on the chart. Um, before we do that, though, I want to go ahead and answer some of the questions that have popped up here. So let's go ahead and do that here first, and then we'll head back on over to 